Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I got some unboxing of the Acer notebook. This is the Aspire E15. And I got it from Adorama's eBay store. It cost about $350 new. I haven't used the Acer before, but hey, the price fits. So very thin packaging. And let's see on the side here. This is the actual full model number. The E5-571-588M. So it's 15 inch. This one's got a Intel processor inside, and here's the specs on it. Windows 8.1, Intel i5, 15.6 screen, and screen, uh, the graphics card is uh, Intel 4000, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, 802.11 BGN with Bluetooth 4, let's see, Acer Crystal Clear HD webcam, just means that's 720p and a 6 cell lithium ion battery and a trial software for office all right let's open this up here we have a setup guide it's not that, not that many pages There's the power adapter. It's pretty small brick, very light. Now let's see what it says. It's universal, 100 to 240 volts. Outputs at 19 volts, 2.1 amps. And here's the other end of the power adapter. I'll guess is what a connector looks like. I guess overall it's got to be at least 10 feet. Here's that 6 cell lithium ion battery. Battery model AL14A32. And it's 4700 milliamps. Okay. Anything else here? And before I open the laptop, let's see what else is here. FCC information, traveler's warranty. Okay. Without a battery, it's pretty late. It's probably four, just over four pounds. Let me just put a battery in. Looks right in. I don't see compartments. There's not, nothing I can see that'll lead me to think that I can just uh, take this apart and like change the hard drive or anything. I'm not sure what the symbol is right here. But aside from that, I don't see a compartment for me to access for upgrading the, mem the memory either. All right, now let's start looking at the side. We got the power input here, USB two USB ports here. It looks like this, there's a bay for a CD drive, but this one does not come with a CD or D DVD ROM. As for the USB, I believe these are USB 2.0s. And we got the speakers pointing on the bottom. Nothing much on this side. Power LED, um, some other LED indicators, SD card, audio, microphone and headphone. USB 3.0 port, HDMI, Ethernet LAN, VGA for computer older computer monitors, a Kensington lock, ventilation here. That's about it. All right, let's open this up. So this unit is not touchscreen. It has multi-touch, but not touchscreen. Uh, on top we have the HD webcam. 720p and as for the buttons on here there's just the power button on the upper left there are no other buttons here no other buttons for the trackpad it's positioned right between well the left and right alt which I do like I can't stand it when their trackpad exceeds over here a lot of times my palm touches it there's a layout of a keyboard 
now for the first power up. The fan initially is pretty audible, but then it quickly died down. Also, just let the uh, audience know that I'm not familiar with Windows 8. On a lot of my computers, I'm still using Windows XP. Windows XP and Windows 7 mostly. I, can, I completely skipped Vista. And as for Windows 8, every now and then I come across it, but hmm. I've actually been avoiding it. Alright, so this is the initial setup. I'm going to choose my location. US, US, yes. Finally, to the desktop. Alright, so Acer stuff, Acer Porto. Let's close this. Alright, this is the, in the control panel, I'm just trying to show the preload of software. There's a lot of Acer apps, Docs, Portal, Recovery Management, View Player, Amazon One Button app, Spotify, Wild Tangent, Pokey Startup menu. So here's the desktop icons that comes with it. The quality of the keyboard is okay, not too bad, but the quality of the trackpad is pretty poor. It's not smooth and you can definitely feel the friction. Right now I want to demonstrate this webcam. So I'm going to launch the camera app. The video quality is definitely not HD. It is terrible. It is worse than a 0.3 megapixel camera. It's very pixelated, very granulated. And the color palette, terrible. So I'm going to hit record. Record a video. One, two, three, there's a little bit of lag. Now I'm just gonna stay quiet and see how much sound picks up. All right, hit stop. Let me hold back. One, two, three, there's a little bit of lag. Now I'm just gonna stay quiet and see how much sound picks up. The microphone quality, very poor. And also, when I was not speaking, it picked up the f sound coming from the fan. It sounded like the computer fan it picked up. I heard a humming, like a motor noise in the background. Another problem I found with the Acer is the fan. So I'm gonna move the microphone closer to it. It sounds like crickets. There's a lot of clicking going on. And I also noticed that if I were to tilt the laptop to the side, the clicking stops. But once I move it back here, the clicking starts up again. At fully charged, it says the battery life is eight hours. But after using it for about an hour, it just drops down to four hours. It, I'm not watching any videos or anything. I am downloading items. So I'll say overall, just surfing the web, this unit can probably last anywhere from four to six hours. As for the screen quality, it's decent. It's not any of the, like the retinas or the uh, ultra sharps but it's good enough for general use web surfing and I purposely I did not get a touchscreen one because I want to keep the cost low now I know I went through a lot of cons for this unit but now let's just talk about the pro for a second this unit costs about $350 after tax is almost $400 and the reason I got it is because it's cheap it has an i5 processor so it's going to do what I want for word processing, very light work. I think this is great for like my parents, students, uh, and if just watching streaming video has HDMI out. All the flaws I listed is tolerable. It's not a deal breaker. The unit is pretty lightweight. The power adapter is small, portable. Uh, the battery life is decent, like four to six hours, depending on usage. All right. I hope you guys found this, this video useful. So this was the Acer Spire E15. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.
Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.